Right, we're just out for a little walk out and about, me and Sharon. Uh, we don't exactly know where we are. We're Pavlos. Pavlos, Pavlos how is it? Pavlos, yeah. But we've left Ben at the uh, car. We've just taken a little walk and we just saw some oh. we just saw some old cars up here. Oh, and old lorries. Let's have a look at what we got here, look. Found some old tractors there. Roller, that's a roller. Oh, sorry, that's an old roller, yeah. We've got some an old lorry over there. Some more stuff over there. But you get loads of stuff like this on the side of the roads. And uh, it just sort of gets left. But we just see this old petrol station. Oh, what camper? Tanker. Oh yeah, old tanker at the back there, look. So we just see some old cars here. Where are they, Sha? Oh, there's loads of old BMWs over there and all. Should we have a look at them or what? That's in the garage. Oh, that's a garage, yeah. But some old uh, BMWs over there. There's an old 3 Series over there. Yeah, that's an E20, E21, is it over there? No, it's a 323. No, an E21, the body shape, shall. Oh, quick, what's up? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to cross a blinking road here. But it's a bank holiday day here today, shall, isn't it? So just walking around the corner here, we saw some old cars. I don't know who they belong to, but uh, apparently you get a lot of Mercedes out in um, Cyprus because parts are apparently easy to come by. And look at this one, this has been sitting here for a few years, isn't it? Look at that. And again, right hand drive, can't see in there, can you? Look at that, look, don't know how long this has been sitting here. Tires are well flat on it. Look at that. I like the cat all over. Yeah, you find a lot of cats walking over these. That's a 350SE. Another one there. BMW, yeah, I don't know. Look, these have been here for absolutely years. And like a lot of the cars here in Cyprus, you get a lot of this sort of damage. Look, on the bonnets of the cars, the uh, lack of peel because it's so hot. And this is an old 5 Series BMW by the looks of it. Yeah. But again, they're normally in pretty good condition because, uh, again, the, the weather's fantastic here. Is that a Sirocco? A Volkswagen Sirocco, is it? I don't know. Not sure. Can't quite see. Not all overgrown, look. Yeah, it is a VW. It looks like a Sirocco to me. And the roof's actually open on that. The sunroof, look. It's taken out. Look at that. How long have these been here? Although it's got a bit of rot on that one there. I see that BM on the scuttle there. But yeah, look. Let's have a look. You smell petrol on the stand, man. Yeah, look at these old things, look. Again, old BMW. Don't know what that old truck is there, shall I? Is it a Peugeot? Not sure, look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Well, right, it's got to be, it? Yeah, it looks well. Port, but yeah, that might be a Peugeot over the back there as well, oh, shall really? Yeah, look at them. Great, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Peugeot. Look. BMW. What is it, baby? Peugeot. You know your cars, don't you, Sam? There's an M Series there, look. Yeah, look at that. I hope you're proof. How long have these been here? Now, in the UK, these would probably be worth quite a few bob, Sharon. But, uh. Peugeot. Yeah, another old Peugeot there. Look at that, look. But again, all, all, all suffering lacquer peel, look. Look at that, look. The lacquer peels off, look. Amazing, isn't it? So I don't know how long they've been here. And yeah, this is the yard, look, we just found. Don't know what it is, but uh, yeah. But there's loads of cars like this that you find dotted about in Cyprus. We just literally drove past this little road here and found these ones, but uh, so interesting. And you do get a lot of old cars in Cyprus as well that are well preserved. We've just seen a little Morris Minor go past here, haven't we? I think you should show the people the lovely view and the lovely blue sky. Yeah. Right, as I say, we're just on a little dusty village here at the moment. Look at that colour of flowers there, lovely. Yeah. Look at that, look. Get them shit back in a container to the UK. Probably worth a fortune. It's just dropped off, look. Eh? Hey? Yeah. There you go. So this is the ones in the garage. Now this is, yeah, 323i. I had one of these back in the UK. And uh, absolutely lovely tools. And again, worth a lot of money. Fantastic cars. 
Hello. Can I help? Just looking. I think they're fantastic. Yeah. You don't see these a lot. Are these your cars? Are they all? Yes, they are. They're yeah. It's my collection. Yeah, they've got a fantastic collection here. They're worth a lot of money in the UK. I know. I know they do. Yeah. Are they expensive out here still or? Oh, carry on. Yeah. I'll have a look around. Just having a look. There we go. So there. This is his, this is his own collection, that chap there. And as I say, in the UK, they're worth a lot of money. So as you can see, he's got some nice motors here. Yeah? Yeah. And again, he's probably holding on to them. I don't know whether they're worth a lot in Cyprus, but uh, as I say, Mercedes are pretty common out here. And everyone drives Mercedes because the parts apparently are very readily available and also very cheap. But uh, yeah, very nice indeed. Again, 5 Series. I think that's a 5 Series BM. Again, paintwork's never going to be great on these sort of cars, but uh, yeah. Old 604 there. Is it 604, 609? I'm not sure. But yeah, these are worth an absolute fortune in the UK. Look at that. Especially these ones, fantastic. All sun damaged. Now, when, when I buy one of these, my seat used to, the bolsters on BMWs on the side of the driver's seat always used to wear. But uh, yeah, I always wanted one of these ones, the, the later ones, but as I say, that's a straight six cylinder 323i. Three three Absolutely lovely. Very nice. Right, we'll leave him be then. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Have a good day. And you. Yeah. Very polite. He obviously collects the old ones, look. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well sought after in the UK. Oh, yeah, very much so, yeah. Are you a collector or.? No, I do motor videos, car videos. Oh, so it's just nice to see these old cars, basically, you know? Okay, be my guest. Yeah, lovely, thank you. Thank you. See, so friendly, look. Yeah, I know he did. Oh, there's an old Triumph over the back there, shall I? Look. Don't see many of them over here, I would have thought. Look at that, 2000 Triumph. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it is a 2000 Triumph and all. Look at that, how long's that been there? Yeah, off in yeah. that one. Yeah. I'd like to know what sort of money he asked he would, oh want, would want for something like that. Is, that, is it the there. earlier one? No, it's a bit later this one Jesus. because, uh, yeah, full of cobwebs in there. You can't probably see that. Look, there we go. That's the best I can get you. Look at that. Look, wow, an old Triumph out inside. It seems to be all right because they've got them things on top. Look, seat yeah, the covers. bolsters, yeah, yeah. seat covers. Look, yeah, all, I never recall them being on there, Sharon. Wow, look at that. And it's actually not in too bad a nick to be honest with you. Look at that. What's your Triumph 2000 shell? Fantastic, look at that British lady and look. Absolutely lovely. I never had one of them, I had the Dolomite Sprint as I've probably told you on many other occasions, but uh, finding things like wings for these, you just can't do it. And that's why all these, I mean, actually, look, solid, absolutely solid. Wow, fantastic. What a little find, eh? What a little find. Again, just a little garage in a little village in Cyprus. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's just this little petrol station here, Shaq. He was nice and pleasant, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Come over. I think you wanted to sell us something at first, but... Uh, You'd like to have bought something. I, I would like to have bought something, but it's, it's getting something like this back to the UK, though, so... We'll leave it there, baby, because uh, we've got to go and find Ben. He's at the water well, trying to pick up some water for us. We have bottled water back where Ben lives. And we'll see you in a minute. Oh, he's here, look. Oh, found some nice cars, Brent. Did you? Yeah, he come over the old chap and he said, "Oh, do you like?" You know, they go. I'll try yeah, the, I, I was talking. My him. friend, do you like? I was talking in broken English as well. <laughs> and uh, I think he was wanted to sell it. He said there are all these old cars, BMWs, Mercs. Yeah, uh, Mercs, Mercs. I've said yeah. loads of Mercs there, as you well know. Peugeots. Peugeots as well. Did you? Peugeot. But you say you told me this. They have lots of Mercs out here, don't they? Yes. Why? Because they can get the parts yeah, easily. Gets parts easy. Yeah. It's been some taxi drivers there saying that. Yeah. Because they're very easy to get parts. Don't know why. Don't know. So yeah, it, apart from him trying to sell us something, I told him I was a YouTuber. He said, "Carry on a film." Did he? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice gentleman. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Right, well, take me out, Ben. I've had enough. English, yeah. 
Take me out, Ben, I've had enough. Just driving back, and I've told Ben to pull over. We've just seen this in the distance. I'll show you what this is, look. Coming down here. Now, this is the last time we was here. This was all overgrown, and this was in the in the bushes, this thing. It looks like an old, uh, an old jag, the Mondeo-based jag. And it was buried the last time we come out last year, but someone's obviously wheeled it out and just left it. It looks like it's been in a side impact by the looks of it. Look at this. <laughs> Don't know how old it is, but uh, could be early 2000s, I suppose. But you've got to be careful because there might be bloody snakes in here or whatever. But yeah, I bet it don't look like the airbags have gone off. But yeah, there we go. That's an old Jag, what is it? That's a 2.5, so I presume that'll be a diesel, it's the next type, yeah. But as I say, this was in the bushes for years and years, by what Ben tells me. And uh, nothing will ever happen to that, that'll probably stay there and rot. Hey, you can see where it's been in the bushes. Look, all this was all cut back, look. But that used to be over here. I think it was sitting here. And all this was overgrown. All that there was overgrown. So they've obviously pulled it out of there. And as you can see, it's just left in the side of a dusty old lay-by, look. And it may belong to someone who lives in the houses at the top there. But uh, anyway, make yourself back to the car now. Anyway, just a little quick blast here, just to show you that there are some old vehicles here. And... Uh, Ben, ben tells me that to get a car back to the UK costs about £1,400, so one of them BMWs could be an option if you uh, wanted to restore something like that. And that bloke looked like he wanted to sell me one, but I won't be taking on anything like that at this moment in time. But the chances are they'll still be there if I wanted to say maybe next year or whatever as a project. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Thanks for joining me on this little video while we're on holiday. And I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Yeah, I've just seen a bloke. I bought it, Ben. Hey, you got it, have you? Yeah. How much did you get that for? Four hey? grand? Four grand, yeah. It's a good yeah. deal? Yeah. It's all smashed in the side, mind you. Is it? Yeah. Shell, what do you reckon? Do you want it? Bargain, yeah. We'll sell your uh, Vauxhall Vectra and you can no, have that. No, no, no. Yeah, no, sorry. No, I'm not selling my car. Unbelievable. Sell your car.